Good morning, and I just want to tell you folks, I really miss you. I miss assembling together. I miss seeing your smiling faces. I miss seeing hands going up in praise to the Lord, but I know one day this soon will pass, uh, that our Lord is in charge, and we're going to be allowed to assemble back together and uh, have a big time just praising the Lord. You know, on this Easter, I just want to encourage you to, to keep your faith, that it's you got to have faith to please the Lord. And there's a chapter in the Psalms that I want to share with you uh, just to encourage you and to, uh, to help you through this light affliction as we're, as we're going through it. It's Psalms 121, and I have it circled and several things underlined, and, and I just want to read that and share that with you right now. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From whence shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord. Amen. Who made heaven and earth so true. He will not allow your foot to slip. He, he who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from evil. Amen. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. Keep your trust in the Lord. This Easter, let's celebrate that, you know, he's alive. He is alive. There's no doubt about that. And you can see his hand on history right now. And just keep your eyes on him. Like I just read, the Lord will guard your going out and your coming in. When you do have to go to the store, I'm not saying don't mask up and glove up, but he's going to protect you. He's going to watch over you. Read the scriptures. Keep your eyes on Jesus and keep smiling. Makes people wonder what you're up to. Glorify the Lord wherever you go. I love y'all. God bless you. And we'll soon all be back together. Thank you.
James and Ophelia Rogers. I would like to share praise this Easter for physical healing that occurred. I was diagnosed with a bone marrow disease called acute promalesic lymphoma. Came on suddenly, never heard of it. Simply put, bone marrow stopped producing blood cells. Spent 28 days in UAB receiving treatment and sent home for additional local chemo treatment. Doctors said that APL was the best lymphoma to have because it is treatable. Easy for him to say. I was placed on an eight month chemo infusion treatment and I am in the last four weeks of the procedure. Proverbs says to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding and he will make your path straight. And so he has. While I appreciate the truth of my physical health, I appreciate forgiveness of my sin adoption into his family all the more. I am a joint heir with Jesus Christ and I live my inheritance every day. Easter is an opportunity for you to become an heir of I am. William Reimer. When we received the phone call from the oncologist to tell us that William had APL, I was not anxious. My heart said, he, Jesus, got this. My Lord will see us through. My husband was healed after 28 treatments. The biopsy was done prior to going home. UAB sent us a letter telling us, congratulations, you no longer have APL. But I believe that your prayers played an important factor in this healing. I want you all to know that prayers works and Jesus is still in business of healing. My church family, you are important to us. We are forever grateful for your love and your prayers. God is good. He is risen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Jade Reimer Happy Easter! With God, all things are possible. I am healed from my surgery. Thank you, Jesus. I love you and need you at all times. Bev Ruley. I had this car when I lived in Gitmo. I always felt happy driving it. I feel like this car looks full of great love and happiness with Jesus in me.
I am so blessed to be a part of the Open Door family. I only hope that I give each of you a little bit of the love you have shown me. Gail Mitchum We love you and miss you all. You are all in our prayers. We hope we will be together again soon. Tommy, Sharon, and Katrina Salmon. Let's just get that out of the way. Hey, it's Susan. I just wanted to say how much I miss you guys and love you. I miss gathering together as the body of Christ and singing praises to our Lord. I cannot wait to get back together. Um, on behalf of my family, thank you for your love and support. God bless you. Praise God. If I had to give a testimony about this particular time in my life, it would be that God is so awesome. He's amazing. He is truly more than enough. When I think of his goodness and all that he's done for us, my soul cries out hallelujah to his name because truly he is our all in all. He is more than enough. And a lot of times I find myself singing this song of worship to him it helps me during this time and it goes a little something like this Jehovah Jireh my provider you are more than enough for me Jehovah Rapha, my healer, by your stripes I've been set free. Jehovah Shama, you are with me. And you supply all my needs. You're more than enough, more than enough. You're more than enough for me. And that is how I feel. He's more than enough. Man's extremities is God's opportunity to show up and show out. He's more than enough. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. And I would like to wish each and every one of you a very happy Resurrection Sunday. God bless. I miss being together in church with y'all and trying to shine the light on the fact that many people with COVID are not allowed early access to medication that can help them get treated quickly and which would mean less deaths and less damage to lungs because they will more than likely not have to be on ventilators. Would like to ask everyone to please go on my Facebook page and click on petition and let's be the Good Samaritan this Easter. Diana Cruz. This is Melanie Yates. I just want to say to all my brothers and sisters, Happy Resurrection Day. God is so good. And I love Jesus so much. Thank you so much, Lord, for, for dying for me. <laughs> my cat wanted to be in the video. Love you guys. Bye. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I miss all of you um, so, so much. Um, I pray you're staying safe. Um, I pray you're just staying uplifted. Um, I know it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> no other word other than it's hard. Um, I had just one of those days today that was hard. Um, hard, you know. So, uh, I miss all of you. 
all of you, like this is so hard to wake up on a Sunday and not do my routine or our routine. Um, so hard, but, uh, it's been a blessing to see all the children every Sunday and, um, every Tuesday that's has blessed my heart more than you could ever know, um, through all of this. Um, so yes. So on, um, Sundays we meet, I meet with the children at 4.30 for preschool and 5 o'clock for school age. And on Sunday, we still do our children's church lesson, which has been um, very interesting, but very fun. Um, still digging in the word and still talking with each other and still sharing ideas, praying together. Um, it's just been a blessing, just a blessing. Um, and then Wednesday nights, um, we have moved to Tuesday nights for children. So we meet on Tuesday nights at 4.30 for preschool and 5 o'clock for school age to do our WANA. Um, we have found that Tuesday nights work better. Zoom's not as crowded, which is where we meet so we can all see each other's faces, which is such a treat and so fun. Um, so Tuesday night is our WANA night now. And we do our WANA lesson together and we play games and I allow them to have time just to chat because that's been taken away. Um, they don't have time to see each other, to have that contact at school, to have that contact at church. So I try to do just, just the WANA lesson and prayer requests, play a game, and then I just try to let them open and talk and however they want to talk just to let it out which is prayer requests, play a game, and then I just try to let them open and talk and however they want to talk, just to let it out, which has been so fun. I look forward to my Sunday nights and Tuesday nights with the children. It's such a blessing. Um, so I want to invite you, if you're a Sunday teacher, a WANA leader, who have, just anyone in the church, I post our Zoom link on our Open Door Baptist Church um, Children's Church or Children's Ministry Facebook page. So um, I post our link on there as well as sharing it through with the Remind. So you can always find it on Facebook. And if you can't find it, um, feel free to message me. Um, but anyway, everybody's invited. Again, it's not a me thing, it's a we thing. So anyone's welcome to jump in, jump on. Um, pray with us, um, whatever's on your heart, share with us. We would love, love, love to, um, have you just, and I promise you will be blessed just as much as you can bless us. Um, it's just been amazing. Um, so yeah, I still get to see the children, which is the highlight to my week. I love it. Um, cause for my, my family, not a whole lot's changed. Um, as you know, we homeschool. Um, so of course we're not having our interaction at church and we're not going to our co-op on Fridays. So having the zoom meetings with the children at church has been huge for us. We look forward to it twice a week. Um, so, um, yeah, that's it for the children. And I want to thank you parents for allowing me to come into your homes to still see your children, to still, talk with your children and get to know your children, even though it's not on a face-to-face -face at church basis. I want to thank you for allowing me to come into your home. Um, that's special. And so I thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, but um, that's it for that. But I will say, um, I will have to say that this has been very trying, very different, I would say but a blessing. Um, and I want to cry. If you know me, you know, I cry easy, <laughs> but a blessing in that my family, the four of us have grown so much closer over this last month being at home together. Um, I know at first I'm like, Oh my gosh, there's no way I can do this. Um, because just even those little outings make a huge difference, but the activities, that we do now, the time we spend together has been just a blessing. And finding the joy again and being with your children and being with your spouse and being at home 
um, just re-sparking that joy has just blessed me and just been the best, um, the best, um, just the best and just being glad and rejoicing. And I have this scripture pulled up from, I've been doing a study on Chronicles. Um, with some friends. And so I thought I would read to you First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 31 through 33. It says, Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice, and let them say among the nation, The Lord reigns. Let the sea and all that fills it resound, and let the fields and everything in them exult. Let the trees of the forest, then the trees of the forest will shout for joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. Um... I love that. Um, shouting for joy. I mean, we should be shouting for joy every single day. Um, it's just a blessing. A blessing, the life we have, the lives we live. And even being stuck at home, it's a blessing. It's a blessing we wake up every day. We have the things we have. We have each other. Even though we don't see each other, we have each other. Everyone's a phone call away. So I just pray that you're shouting for joy, that you're rejoicing, that you're shouting, the Lord reigns. He does. And it just fills me with joy. It makes my heart happy. It makes me smile. And it makes me that you're shouting for joy, that you're rejoicing that you're shouting the Lord reigns he does and it just fills me with joy it makes my heart happy it makes me smile and it makes me want to cry at the same time um but I am excited for the day that we all can come back together again um see each other face to face not on a screen or not far away um I just pray that you're all doing amazing I pray that um you're all doing well and I just can't wait to see you all again and if you want to join in with us um with the children on Tuesday nights or Sunday nights please let me know or check out our Facebook page Open Door Baptist Church Children's Ministry and I post the link there if you have questions about it comment there or message me and I'll be so happy to walk you through it but we would love to see you um it's not just for me and the children it's for everybody so we would love, love, love to have you. So I pray for all of you and I pray that I can see you all soon. Bye. Thank you so much, Natalie, for everything you do for us. Um, I love the scavenger hunts that you do for us. Um, and I love when we get to see each other and you talk, you teach us about um, Jesus and God and what they did to save us. And, um, thank you. God bless you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I appreciate those who have sent in uh, videos and pictures and testimonies as to what God has been doing in your life in these last four to six weeks. It's been most amazing. Many have gone through some very trying times, and I know God's going to hold you up through that. I want you to understand there's something bigger than this virus that we're dealing with. There's some spiritual things taking place in the heavenlies. Do, don't you give up. Don't you worry about this momentary light affliction that we're going through. Keep your faith. Keep looking up. Keep reading the word. And let Jesus use you as a light in this world of darkness. And great things will come. I love you. And happy Resurrection Sunday. You live large. You live out loud. You love long. Share with those around you the gift of God. This eternal life he's given us. God bless you. Hey, this is Ariana with Two or More, and we've recorded a song by Carrie Joe and Cody Connor. It's called The Blessing, and it's really powerful, and we hope it blesses y'all and reminds y'all of the promises of God that aren't shaken no matter what happens.
shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. The Lord bless you. There are a few things Jesus has laid on my heart during this time we're all in. Number one, Yewa is sovereign. We are not in control of anything, but have deluded ourselves throughout history. Two, that he has allowed COVID-19, earthquakes, and economic crunch like never before and caused us to be quarantined during Passover, says he is calling everyone around the world to be secluded before him. We are to seek solitude, meditation, and his one-on-one -on -one embrace. Blood on our doorposts, rather than worrying about quarantine, is what he calls us to understand. Three, we get so busy, we put off with good intention, solitude with our Lord. No one was busier about the Father's business than Jesus. Yet, he made time to be alone before the Father, to pray and to listen. God wants us to experience that seclusion with him. 4. Personally, I am praising him for his wisdom and for putting my loved ones in a position of having undivided attention and confronting the reality of the approaching rapture. 5. No one appreciates virtual friendship more than I, since I'm in a pretty secluded situation already. But the more I see people around the country engaged in secular attempts to encourage everyone that we are Americans, Americans always rallies back and overcomes difficulties, and God bless America, my heart breaks for Jesus. This is what happened after 9-11. Are we not getting it? America, bless God. Pray for the God-fearing president and vice president we have. Pray for Prime Minister of Israel. Last and most important to my heart is that I'm seeing Open Door Church doing His will, responding as the Father calls. Thank you all for blessing the name of Jesus. I've been hoping for a revival. Instead of something huge, it's happening in every one of your hearts and spreading. Reaching out, calling, texting, praying, helping, feeding, encouraging, and loving. Bless you all. Stay safe. In one accord, Lynette Rydell.
Happy Easter, everybody. Thank you so much for those of you that's been able to participate in this presentation. Thank you for those that are faithful to watch the live streams when we post them, whether they're here on Facebook or whether they're here on YouTube. Thank you to our pastor for being obedient and still putting forth the message, the word of God each time. Thank you to our worship leader, to Brother Mickey for being there and praising the Lord in song. And I am absolutely in awe at the way we have all come together, even though we can't physically be together. I'm just honored and thankful that the Lord has placed me to minister with Open Door Baptist Church in the community of Enterprise and everything that he does. I'm so blessed and honored to be his child, to have been bought by that precious blood of his. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. I love you. I love you so much. If you can... If you need anything, if I can do anything for you, please let me know. God bless you.